So now we're going to move on to the topic of duration, which is actually all about measuring risk. Previously, we had a look at the liquidity premium hypothesis, which said that investors will demand a level of extra return to compensate them from risk, risk that arises as a result of the possibility of market yields changing, which change prices, which change their return. So now we're going to try and actually numerically measure this risk by having a look at the sensitivity of prices to the market yield and then using this analysis to define what we call Macaulay duration. So first up, I've just got a simple formula here, which is for the price of basically any general security that promises a set of future cash flows. So it's a bit more general than just for a bond. So it's very simple. It's just the present value of the future cash flows. So you've got each cash flow I discounted by TI, which is the time at which you receive that cash flow I. Now, so we've got this simple formula for the present value and thus the price of any security. How sensitive is this to changes in the yield R? Well, a simple measure we can use for this is the derivative. So we take the derivative of the price with respect to the yield. And what is this equal to? Well, it's actually equal to 